Welcome to the image tracing for embroidery video as part of the embroidery machine training series here at Beam. Today you'll learn how to convert images into vectors. Your first step in Illustrator will be to create a new artboard. In order to do this, you'll click Create New, and then you'll navigate over to the Art and Illustration section. Here you can change the unit of your artboard. I'm going to do inches, however you can use any unit that you feel comfortable working with and what makes sense for your project. Next, I'll change the dimensions of my artboard to match the total desired area that I wish to embroider. This is limited by the amount of space that you have on your fabric. In this case, I'll do 4 inches by 4 inches. Finally, you can navigate to the Advanced Options menu, in which I'm changing my artboard into RGB color and high raster effects. Once you're satisfied, you can hit Create and your artboard will show up on your screen. To quickly import an image, Drag your image file from its file location directly onto the artboard on your screen. You can find the Image Trace menu by selecting Window and then Image Trace. The window will appear at the right hand side of your screen, but we'll go ahead and maximize this for better viewing. Use the Selection tool to select your image and then the Image Trace option should appear. To preserve the colors in the Beam logo, we'll select Color Mode, which then gives you the option to limit the amount of colors in your color palette. In this example, we'll set it pretty low since there aren't that many colors in the Beam logo design. Since this image has a white background that I don't necessarily want to include on the final embroidered design, I'll go ahead and hit Ignore White here to remove that part from the image. Next, you'll hit Preview, which will allow you to see the design changes that you make during image trace in real time before you actually image trace the final design. The first advanced option is the Path Slider. Adjusting this sets the number of paths in your design. Fewer paths can mean a simple design, but if there are too few paths, it can just distort the overall appearance of your image. Too many, and it can appear very rough. The corner slider controls the emphasis on the sharp bends of your design. Increasing the corner slider will make the curves of your design more sharp, where decreasing it will make the curves of your design more round. The noise slider controls the threshold for small areas of color to be excluded from your design, or extra pixels. Increasing the noise value can eliminate unwanted parts of your design, but a very high noise value may remove smaller, wanted parts. This setting varies with every image, so try various values to see what looks best to you. When you're happy with the image trace look of your design, you can go ahead and navigate to the top of the menu and hit Expand. This will turn all of the parts of your image trace in two vectors. Using the selection tool, you can go ahead and click on any piece of your design and you can change the shape, size, or color. You can select parts of your design or individual elements by ungrouping and selecting each element and then you can change the color and it will only apply to that part of your image. When you're happy with the overall look of your design, You'll then want to save your design in the correct format to be read by the embroidery machine. In order to do so, you'll navigate to the file menu and then select Save As and enter whatever name that you'll remember for your design. The Illustrator Options menu will appear and then you'll want to select the version and change this version to Illustrator 8 or 9. Using other versions of Illustrator will result in parts of your image not showing up correctly, such as colors being lost or parts of your vector design not showing. When you save your file, go ahead and save it to a flash drive or to a location that you can easily access when you're on the Beam computer next to the embroidery machine. Thanks for watching.